Hello everyone, welcome back. This video we are going to learn how to integrate Artifactory with Jenkins. In our previous video, we learned how to set up Artifactory using Docker Compose. But this video we are going to learn how to integrate Artifactory with Jenkins. But before we get started, let's try to understand the workflow. So if you look at this diagram, so Artifactory is a popular uh, repository manager. You can integrate Artifactory with any kind of, uh, you know, popular CACD tool. And Artifactory is mainly used for storing your binary artifacts. And then using that, you know, you can, it's like build once and then you can release your software whenever you feel like, okay? But this particular video, we are going to talk about how you can integrate Artifactory with Jenkins. Awesome. So how are we going to approach this demo? So what we have to do is after you configure Artifactory, we need to create a regular Artifactory admin user. So we should not use the default admin user which comes out of the box from Artifactory. So we need to create a regular Artifactory admin user. So we will do that. I will show you quickly uh, how to do that. After that, we have to go to Jenkins and then install Artifactory plugin in Jenkins. So using this uh, plugin, Jenkins will integrate with Artifactory. And then we are going to configure Artifactory information under uh, Manage Jenkins Configure System. And then we will create a freestyle job in Jenkins. And then we will uh, configure that particular job in order to uh, check out a Java project uh, from our SCM tool. And then we will build it using Maven. And then finally, we will upload the war file into Artifactory. And then finally, you know, we will run the job and then we'll just verify whether, you know, we were able to upload the war file into Artifactory or not, okay? So that's exactly what we are going to cover as part of this short video. Awesome, so let's quickly uh, go over the, uh, uh, you know, prerequisites here. Yes, I do have Artifactory up and running. So that is my Artifactory right here. And then I also have my Jenkins up and running. So this is my Jenkins up and running. Uh, both of them have been set up as part of uh, my AWS cloud, okay? And uh, this is my uh, Java web app I have configured in uh, GitHub, okay? All right, so let's get started here. So first we need to uh, create a regular Artifactory admin user. So we, not, uh, we, we should not use the default admin user. So let's go into Artifactory. So how do you create a admin user, okay? It's very simple, so click on the tools here. Let me see if I can increase the, uh, you know, the text a little bit large. Okay, there you go. So click on the tools and then click on user management, users. So this is where, you know, we can create a new user. Okay, so click on new user. Uh, we have to give a name. So I want to name this as admin. Uh, let me call this as a CA admin. So I'm going to give my random email address, I'm, uh, you know, uh, so just some random email address. Okay, blah, blah, dot com. And uh, yeah, so this is important. So we want to give, uh, you know, uh, this user administrator platform role so that he can manage everything. And then scroll down. So we have to update the password. So again, uh, you know, Artifactory, you have to follow this uh, password policy. So let me go ahead and then create a password. Okay, perfect. And then scroll down. Okay, I think everything else is fine. So this is going to have uh, this uh, readers, is part of the reader, uh, you know, readers group. So that's fine. That's pretty much over there. And then click on save. Okay, wonderful. So we were able to create this admin user in, in Artifactory. So we are, we are going to use this user as part of our uh, build in, in Jenkins, okay? All right, so let me go back to my uh, prerequisites here. Yes, we also need to install Artifactory plugin in Jenkins. So let me log in into Jenkins. This is my Jenkins. I just newly set it up. Uh, go to Manage Jenkins. And uh, Manage Plugins. Available Plugins. And then search for Artifactory. Okay, so this is the plugin what we want to install. So click on install without restart. Okay, perfect. Our plugin also got installed. Let me click on uh, dashboard. And uh, we also need to configure Maven in Jenkins as well because uh, we are going to use 
a java project to uh, you know to try and and create a war file and all so we need to have a maven for that so let's configure maven go to manage jenkins global tool configuration if you have already done it you don't have to do it um, but i have not configured so let me enter maven information maven 3 Okay, so that's it, and I would like to install automatically. Uh, let's see if you have already installed uh, on on your Jenkins. You can uncheck this, and then you can provide the path. But that's fine. So I want to you know do this one, apply and save. Very good. So we have configured uh, Maven as well. So now we have to go ahead and then configure artifactory information in Jenkins. We just install the plugin, isn't it? So we just need to uh, configure, uh, provide uh, artifactory information under uh, configure system so go to configure system and scroll all the way down pretty much and there you go so look for jfrog section so click on add so this is where we are going to provide artifact information so let me give instance id as you can give any name but i want to give this as artifactory and then we have to provide a jfrog a platform url that's nothing but you know our artifactory url right so so my artifactory url is this copy that and uh, you don't have to give anything after port number 8082 that's it okay and then scroll down and this is where you are going to provide your uh, admin credential so we just created uh, an admin user right so this is the admin username ci admin so let's go ahead and then provide that information over here. And let me provide uh, the admin password. Don't provide your default admin password, but you have to provide whatever the password you have used to set up this user. Perfect. Okay, I don't think this is working. If you click on test connection, this is not, uh, I really don't know why they have it as part of this. This will not confirm you anything. Okay, so, so don't try to click on this one. That's of no use. So click on apply and save. Awesome. So now we have configured artifactory information in Jenkins. Now all we have to do is, you know, go ahead and then create a job in Jenkins. So let me create a freestyle job. Um, I mean, this particular video does not cover pipeline integration, but pipeline integration, I'm planning to do a separate uh, video. So let's just focus on the freestyle project. So let me give some name, freestyle project, okay. Uh, all right, so now we configure this. Uh, we need to create. Uh, now we have to configure this job. So go to source code management, click on Git. So I'm going to provide my uh, GitHub credentials, and uh, I have already configured my credentials. And then the branch name is main, not master. You can see that here. That's main. Perfect. Okay, scroll down. So now we are going to uh, select this one, Maven Artifactory Integration under Build Environment. So as you can see here, it already you know populated this from Configure System section. Uh, so it is asking for where we want to upload our uh, binary file. So let's click on Refresh. There you go. So I want to you know go ahead with this default option. Uh, but you know, sometime you can also create repositories, right? So if you want to create repositories, you can also create uh, you know repositories, and then you can provide uh, you know whichever the repository you wanted to upload the var file. So you can provide over here. But uh, this comes with the default repository, which is example iPhone repo iPhone local. So I'm okay with this for now. Okay, perfect. Uh, and then scroll down further. So this is also fine. I would like to go with all the default options. That's fine. Uh, scroll down. So now we have to uh, build our uh, Java project using Maven, isn't it? So click on add build step. So since we have already configured uh, this one, or you know, Maven as part of uh, a global tool configuration setup, let me use Artifactory Maven 3. Wonderful. Okay, so we have to provide uh, our palm.xml file. So uh, this is my web app. My palm.xml file resides inside my web app. So I have to give the path of that. Okay, and then the Maven goal. So clean install. Perfect. Um, so that's pretty much over there. 
if you want to deploy into Tomcat and all, you can go ahead and then, you know, um, configure that plugin and then you, you can do that. But I don't want to, you know, worry about that. I just want to just do the Artifactory and Jenkins integration. I just want to make sure that we are successfully able to build the UR file and then we were able to upload into Artifactory. So click on apply, save. Let me run the job manually. So that's fine. So let's see. So as you can see right now, uh, this is checking out the code, building the code right now. Okay, so we're able to build it. And then as, as we can see here, it, this is also, you know, this was able to upload the war file into uh, Artifactory as well. So if I go into Artifactory, so let's go into Artifactory and just verify that, you know, we were able to successfully upload the war file. So go to Artifacts. There you go, guys. You see, guys. So this was the repository uh, we have we have used to store our war file, right? So click on that one. There you go. So this is all the you know the package information, right? So this is our war file name. Okay. I mean the artifact ID, and this is our war file information. There you go, guys. You see, here? That's our war file right there. right here that's our war file name yeah so yeah so whenever you run the job you know what this will do is you know this will create the war file and then it will upload the war file into artifactory under this section okay awesome guys you know this is how you can integrate artifactory with Jenkins Thank you for watching this video.